Hi everybody, Jerome right here, and you're with me on my um, Jeronification channel. Okay, um, you're looking at a um, a piece of artwork. Okay, um, from 1921, and it's by um, German Dadius and Surrealist um, artist Max Ernst. Max Ernst. Okay, and um. As you know, I am capable of decoding artworks. I don't care who the artist is, or what era the art artist is from, or sculpture is from, or architect is from. If it references the creation or genetic manipulation of mankind, I am capable of reading into the arts and artists artists' artworks and artworks and art that this artist is describing these encryptions in. And in the case of this right here, if you were to Google Surrealist, Surrealist, that's S-U-R-R-E-A-L-I-S-T, if you were to Google that, this image would be number one in Wikipedia um, engine search for Surrealist. This guy, this German art um, artist, um, is very famous and popular for this. This is is supposed to be. Let's let's let, let me quote them as saying this is what's being quoted. Um, this 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 artwork is supposed. To, it, it is among the fa the the most famous of Ernest's early surrealist works. It's quoted as being undoubtedly the first masterpiece of surrealist painting in the Chirico t um, tradition. So this this artwork is, is 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 very very popular. Okay, let me read that again. It is supposed to be the first masterpiece of surrealist painting in the De Chirico tradition. Okay, so when you Google this, read into that because if this is supposed to be all famous for all of that, then surely I'm going to be um, more popular than this painting is for for decoding it. Not that this is what I'm looking for because I'm I, you know I, mean, I want so much more out of this than what this, the rest of my life is actually dedicated to um, decoding these images. Okay, so um, do I do have to go mainstream? I do have to go um, viral here, and um, so this message can get out of what's going on with us in these genetic bridgings and, and manipulations. But anyway, I don't want to ramble on because I can feel myself going out in that direction now. This the net, the title of this painting is the elephant celebs, the elephant celebs. Okay, um, and it was created in 1920, um, 1921. Okay, and it's by German Dadius and Surrealist Max Ernst. First of all, let me tell you, we know that this is not the elephant's tail. This is. A indication of the elephant's penis, which is actually in two uh, two halves. This will be the foreskin area, and then the pe penis actually ex um, extends from out of this past the foreskin and come here. You see the penis come over, is bridged through a what would look like a um, a lamp shed, a lamp um, 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 skirting. With the diamonds in it, it represents the the triangles, okay. Which in cult-like religion represents the um, fertility, okay. And then you see this penis in the mouth of a horn being, which represents that of the bull, and and it's, the face is all disfigured, representing mutations and all of that, okay. But stay with me, people, because this is going to get very interesting. Then you see a headless figure over here which is a woman breast out and you see that 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 figure waving this person waving the elephant wa waving this all on this way come on over here then you see a tree with broken branches and a bar going across it and then over here there is a uh, like a um like a stick okay that's actually bridged between the elephant's tusk and the tusk of that of this of this um well not the tusk the um the horns of that of this creature here showing you that there was a bridging the bridging between the both and that's what's indicated there when you google the original image you'll be able to see that 
Then there is a crack in the sky here and you see a celestial mass entering Earth's atmospheric larynx and coming in. Okay? And because I know what all of this means, it's very simple for me to tie this to another famous painting that came long before this and it's dated back to 1420. And that painting or um, creation is by Lorenzo Ger um, Gilberti. Gilberti. This idea, the concept of this, was borrowed, stolen from Lorenzo Gilberti. Okay, 1420, um, 14th century artist Gilberti. This is referencing how mankind was genetically bridged over that of a elephant. Tree of Life, representing all of the genetics at this point, which was which is being signified as being bridged over. This is a pyramid showing you that the elephant's penis, which represents this elephant's genetics, bridged through that pyramidic genetic of life form at that time into that of this horned creature which represents the ox. Now do you want to see, and this is a cartoon like image. You would not be able to make any sense out of it. You want to see what it looks like in reality, right? Alright, here's the artwork by Lorenzo. Let me put this up, let me get some text. Oh, let me show you the elephant's penis first. You can Google elephant's penis. There's some other likenesses there. Let me see um, if I can bring this in closer. Oops. The elephant's penis has two extensions. We agree that this is not the elephant's tail. In fact, this hole here probably represents where the elephant's tail was. That's what the artist is saying. Look, this is not the tail. There's, the tail is missing. This is the elephant's penis. Okay. This is the two parts of the elephant's penis. This is the elephant's foreskin there. And the elephant's penis is, is coming out there. For those of you that have never seen an elephant's penis extended, it is extorm, uh, extremely long, people. It's like a snake. Okay. Now, I'm going to see if I can bring this in to show you the two halves. And there's the first half there of the foreskin. And then the second half is the actual penis going out and touching the ground. In some cases, you can see the elephant's penis snaking off. And you know what I mean? They have like this, this muscle control over it, believe it or not, where it actually finds its target when it's actually in mating. You should see that it's actually incredible, people, to be totally honest with you. All right? That's the two halves of the elephant's um, um, penis there. All right. Now, now that I established to you that this is being references the elephant's penis, what is the elephant's penis doing shown going through this skirt-like object and into this bull's mouth? Well, there's another artist, Lorenzo Ghiberti, that's saying the same exact thing. People, it's referencing what my discovery all blankets. And that is that it is telling us how mankind in a pyramid-like way, was bridged over creatures of our world. And these artists call themselves cleverly, until I come along, and having this enjoyment of this knowledge, and keeping it away from the masses of people, of what is actually happening with us. Now, I'm going to show you that this artwork that I just had up, which is very extraordinary, people, this artwork by this German artist is not original, but yet he is famous. This is a famous painting of Sir Willis Art. What do I want to start with? First of all, let's go with this mass right here. No, let's go with the elephant, since that's the biggest object there. Here's the elephant. There's the elephant right there you see the bull 
are the ox. There it is on the other side of the pyramid. You see the pyramid with the top missing? There's the pyramid. Showing you that through the pyramid, through the pyramid, through the pyramid, these two creatures were bridged. You have the elephant on this side, and you have the ox on that side. Through the pyramid, these creatures were bridged. Now, along in this bridging, you see this headless being right here with the arm outstretched, saying, I'm bridged over, come on. You see, it's saying, from this bridging, I want these genetics. That's what this that's what this band is saying. I want these genetics. You see the arm stretched out? Why is there a headless being figure with the arm outstretched? And all of this shown bridged over identically to what is there. Now, hold on, it gets better, people. This being is headless with the arm with the arm outstretched. There's no head on this being with the arm outstretched. Now, you see this mass right here and the opening in the sky, which I know what it is, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to say anything now, but look. Look at this same celestial mass shown trickling down from out of the sky. Now, hold on. We have the tree of life. The branch from the tree of life, the tree, the tree of life, the root from the tree of life, and it shows a bridging going through, a stick going through. We have the same identical. Hold on, let me let me see if we can get a side by side of that. Uh, let me get a side by side of that. Right there, you go, right there. Look, people, the same identical tree. And, it's, and it is a tree, people, because it's rooted into the ground. These are posts holding this. This, uh, this is a tree that's rooted into the ground. And it's showing you how this is all being bridged over. These beings. This is what this tree of life is actually showing. It's bridged over. And it's showing you the same exact thing that this is bridged. There's a bridging here. You see that, people? There is a bridging same identical image except for one is 1420 and well this one is 1420 by Lorenzo Gaberti and this one is 1921 by Max Ernst who became very famous for a piece of work that is not even his original idea it actually was borrowed from here I can do this same identical thing which I should not be able to do people I can take our world's art collection globally and tie it just like I'm doing from one piece to the next. You know why? Because it is all stating the same exact thing. It tells us that there is an ancient hidden knowledge that these artists enjoyed, that they knew about, which evolved from a time of that when artwork was being scrutinized by religion. And they're taking these artworks and turning them into their own forms of art expression that originated from something that came before. I can take this piece of artwork and link it to before that, and that artwork before that, and then I can even tie it to space. You know why? Because there is a celestial um, link from beyond our world into our world through an evolutionary time that created these art forms and artworks that I can read. You have two famous pieces of artwork. Two. One from 1420, Lorenzo Gaberti, and this one here from 1921, Max um, 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 Ernst. Both before my time, before I was even in this work. Both. Both of these images. But yet, People have been trying to understand these 
and I can read them to you like they're like there's something out of a comic strip or out of a a kid's cartoon um um I'm drawing or something. What is an elephant's penis doing in a bull's or ox mouth? Going through a skirting, which is in a pyramid, and the triangles, which represents a cult-like thing called fertility. You know why? Because just as I told you, there is a genetic bridging. A genetic bridging. And where were these genetics going? Right there to that person saying, give me that. Me next. After these genetics are bridged. Give me this. And this is going into man's kind. This person is stating the same exact thing. The elephant here. The ox there, there's a line with multiple faces, morphine faces in itself, right there. To show you how these genetics were bridged over. And look at this headless being with the arm outstretched. Shows you people that we have been had. Everything. What did I show you? I showed you one two, three, four, five, six, seven identifiers that are in this 1420 painting. Shows you how these genetics are bridged over. There's one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, and where's my seventh at? Oh, in the pyramid. Seven. People, I can take apart a world's art collection the same identical way, and I should not be able to. But what's more disturbing is the fact that Back in 1420, they had this information. Imagine what kind of technology and knowledge that was suppressed through all of this. Imagine had the science field, those that have dedicated their life to try to understand the true cause and, 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 um, and medical, I should I say, cures for mankind's elements. They have dedicated to, to truly try to help mankind. There are a select few of people that are doing just the opposite in suppressing it all. Going through all types of, you know what I mean, by any means necessary to keep this information from you. And these people are taking it and, 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 and smeared it in your faces in cartoons. I know how we were genetically created. Don't you think that if science and medicine knew that we were ge genetically bridged over these creatures, that they would have a better understanding of what some some of our elements might be could be? People, these images tell a, a time. There's a timetable here. It tells you when it occurred. How long it took for it to sell these genetics to go in. What... Uh, uh, when they were bridged, how mankind overcame them, at what levels and what point. I can take you back through the beginning. I can take you back to what came before this. There are. This is a timetable. A calculated, systematic timetable. A grail that shows us how we were created, how, when we were bridged over, how long it took for those genetics to kick in and take effect. And what we can expect, and there's still more here to the future, or, or what's to be expected in this. You hear the return of, of these people talking about their returning. Jesus, um, um, King Solomon, uh, even um, Nostradamus, all of these people. 
talking about the future and, and what they're they're capable of doing and returning. Yes, they're going to return, but not in the spiritual sense like you think, but in the genetic sense. Because you know why? Because these people genetically contaminated your ass. Their genetics are going to appear in us. Genetically. What they've done, I can do. I can create a genetic cocktail like they did. Und and understanding how it's done and the time that it takes, I can I can predict, make all of these quad trains like Nostradamus and say, okay, in 400 years, I'm going to I'm going to reemerge. You know how I can do that? Because there is a system in place that allows for this to actually happen. People, you have been had. I'm getting sick about this mess. I'm getting upset about it because how much does it take an understanding to realize that these crazy images, look at this. If you were to take this image right now and take it into any of uh, uh, of the of these um religious um institutions, if you were to take this to the Vatican, would nobody in there be able to tell you what the hell this means? If you were to take it to any artist, they wouldn't be able to tell you what it means. You would get every answer but the right answer. And here I am explaining that. This is a pyramid showing you that there was a bridging over of these creatures and these and the bridging over is from our original originating state which is that of ape black man and these other likenesses were created through these bridges and again there's a line and you see my other videos it's the same exact thing and then you will see this line has mutated faces if you were to look closely at it I can draw them out for you as well too it shows you how these bridging overs death and, and resurrection and that's why you see that headless person there and that's why you see that headless person right here Shows you a bridging over of mankind's genetics. I'm going to go on that note and all. There's nothing else I actually have to say about this. But people, this is this is just absolutely amazing. And we always got these celestial objects snaking in from out of out of out of world out out of, beyond our world. And we have the same exact thing. That's that's that object. Look. This is not even original artwork. This artist took and made a cartoon out of this. It's a cocktail, a cauldron of a bunch of genetics. Shows you shows you how this cauldron, this cocktail of genetics, broke down the genetics of this elephant, bridged this elephant over, ran it back in. And they're here. And I understand what all of this actually means. Yep. And I can tell you something else about this here. This hook in this tail actually represents that of the um, the, the shepherd's crook or crook or crock, whatever you want to call that. Showing you that there was a corral of these genetics. You see you'll see this with the lion's tail, you'll see this with these creatures' tales and these Renaissance artists' artwork. It's a form of showing you a corral of genetics. Leonardo da Vinci is famous for utilizing this with the tail of the lion. You'll see dog tails in this way, these animals' tails, showing you that there was a corral of these genetics. People, look at this. What more can you get out of that than this? The artist didn't take in a needle. I mean, the next thing to do would put a needle here or put an IV shown going in from. The only other thing that they could possibly do is take an IV and run it from this creature to that creature. 
But that would be too much of telling, letting the cat out of the bag. Oh no, you can't do that because they know that. Then this this creature was given the semen and the blood to this creature, and they'll be able to read that too easy. So what did they do? This is the way they did it. This is a form of art expression. How they did it from the beginning of time. They take this elephant's penis and put it into the mouth of the bull and say that look, they were genetically bridged. That's the bridge, the penis. And it goes through the pyramid of all genetics, signifying that of mankind. And that's what this is this is showing. You see that pyramid? And you see these individuals of mankind there? And that line, it shows you that that these creatures bridge through that. Pyramid representing fertility. And it's showing you the same exact thing here. There's those triangles. That's why this is cut like that. It ain't no skirt for this person. It shows you that through the pyramid of life, of mankind, evolution of mankind, these creatures went through genetically. And you know what this is all about? The breakdown of our originating state of genetics, which was actually superior for that time, which was that of black man, African, ape, and it shows you how these other likenesses came. Notice how there's all of this history through Africa, Asia, the whole nine. Can't nobody tell you where white man came from. Our Caucasian, I don't like that term, white man. Our Caucasian counterparts. Can't nobody tell you. I can tell you where they came from. Because they cleverly discuss it. Through the bridging of lions, through the bridging of tigers, through the bri bridging of these elephants, reptilians, it shows you that there was a breakdown. And this is where all of these likenesses come from. How you have these beings looking like that of our creatures of our world. The eyes, the hair, the teeth, genetic bridging people through animals of our world. I can tell you where it started, where it came from, where it originated, where it's going, where it can go, who's doing it. I can't I can't believe it. let me bring this back up again. This 1420 artist, Lorenzo Gaberti, Famous for this image. This is this is with Noah. And here you have a 1921 surrealist artist come along and take the same message, the same exact message as here, and twist it around. And didn't do a very good job, must I say, because everything that is here, except for this cartoon mess up here, which is saying the same thing. Is here. This guy boldly uses the headless person that's laying there on the ground, bridged over, which we know now is a female, because this is a female. This headless figure here is a female. Uses the elephant and the and the and the um um the ox or the bull whatever you want to call it look and then shows it bridged between the pyramid the same exact mess and then our tree of life I got I got to go through this again people I must there's the tree of life and it shows you these new genetics being being branched over and what's being taken out shows you the originating sources. Celestial mass intervention through our atmosphere glares in our skies. Same exact things stating there.
If you're not convinced, I hope you are. You should be. Because there is no difference between this 1921 famous artwork and this 1420. And I can do this over and over and over and over again because you know why? Later artists take their ideas from earlier artists. I can claim this artwork now because it is not even an original idea. It is based on this. I can take this with every piece of artwork. I can even take this and unclaim this and take and, and tie this to something before. These artists are not original. I understand what's going on here, people. I'm going to get going. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. And I'll be moved to make another video. I'll figure something out. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll show you how. Maybe, maybe I'll come back in my next video and show you how all globally there are references in, of the elephant. Specifically, how about in the, um, in the um, I'll do it with the, um, with the, um, with Hindu and Buddhist. I'll show you how they actually told us that they were bridged over the um, the elephant, okay? And that's another thing too, people. When you see these these drawings and these indicators and these indications, they not only represent the bridging over of that creature, but they represent the bridging over of a continent from which this creature was originally bridged over and bridged upon, because our ancestors did it before then as well too. You know what I mean? So when you see these creatures, you have to know that this is a representation of the continents from which they evolved. For example, where we at? Oh, the ox, the lion. The um, elephant and the pyramid. Think about that for a minute, people. I'm going to get going. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jeronification channel. Thank you.